It was the bloodiest coup attempt in modern Turkey's history. A group in the military tried to topple the government last July, but they failed to unseat President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. 240 people were killed. Thousands are behind bars accused of being involved. Of course the government are going to take measures to root out those who are trying to destabilize the democratically elected parliament. When we visited Ankara, we even visited the bombed out parliament building. Uh, which actually had been hit uh, by fighter jets. So th these aren't normal situations that the Turkish government are facing. Uh, certainly uh, not normal from our perspective here in the European Union. A new in-depth report from the UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office says it hasn't found evidence to support President Erdogan's claim that the Gulen movement orchestrated the coup attempt, but that there is evidence to indicate individual members were involved. Fatullah Gulen is a Turkish preacher and businessman and has lived in self-imposed exile in the United States since 1999. The British report says Turkey has used its state of emergency to undermine democracy and human rights. The United Kingdom is at the forefront always of raising the issues of human rights and making sure that our strategic partners and allies behave uh, in the best possible way towards guaranteeing and protecting judges, civil society and, of course, most importantly, freedom of the media. We do not flinch and we do not uh, detract from raising the issues of human rights uh, with our Turkish partners. But one very important thing I would say, megaflow, megaphone diplomacy and throwing brickbats at the, our Turkish interlocutors isn't, I would argue, the way in which to encourage them. The report also offers ways for Britain to build a stronger relationship with Turkey, a relationship based on common security interests, regional stability, and economic ties. This directive goes against current EU policy at a time when the UK takes steps to leave the EU. Brexit will afford the United Kingdom the, the opportunity of having a different policy from the European Union in terms of a bilateral foreign policy and trade. Turkey is an extremely important country. The report cites common interests like the fight against ISIL and support for refugees. It says the UK can look forward to a very respectful and strategic alliance with Ankara over the coming years. Rene Oude, Al Jazeera.